Well, 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 Philip. Yes. We are down here at the 2013 Giants Family Day. Yep. How excited are you at the moment? Ooh, I wish there was a Richter scale for excitement because I'd be off it. I've uh, just signed three uh, memberships actually. Two partially because of uh, this beautiful yeah, mon it's, montage. It's got to be one of the worst photos ever. Made. I've got two chins, bum fluff, and a disgusting mo. So it's a great photo. Thank you to the Giants uh, membership crew. Now, uh, both of our captains, you and Callum, both have girlfriends. Yep. Why don't we talk about Valentine's Day today? It was on during the week. Let's 14th, go and ask. Was it? It was the 14th. Okay, yeah. You know it. Yeah, I know it. Um, let's ask a few boys about what happened during the week and uh, what they bought their girlfriends. Yep, great topic. Let's do it. Another hard name to pronounce, Christian Jacksh. If you've got a lisp, it's very difficult. Um, Christian, obviously, February the 14th. What's that date? Uh, it's Feb 14th, yeah, that's yeah, correct. What's something special about that day? Uh, it's Valentine's Day. I thought you'd know that, straight off the bat. Have you seen Tice On, the new Dom Tyson TV program on Giants TV? Oh, was that, that make it? I was part of the first segment, and oh, wow. all week at home he's been saying, oh, we outrated you in my second show, blah, this, blah, blah, that, it's better than you guys. How bad is it? Oh, I, to be honest, I haven't watched it. I don't like to pot other shows, you know, I think that lacks a bit of class, but it's awful. Uh, did you do? Did you have a Valentine day, Valentine this year, or what did you do for Valentine's Day? Well, my, my lack of success from previous Valentine's Day has led me to not believe in it, so I just had a quiet day at home, spent a bit of time with Lockie, so I guess you could say here's my Valentine. You know, give him some feedback on it. Um, one, you know, what's what genre are you going for? Are you going for comedy or are you going for documentary? I'm not sure, Dom. Two, are you equals with your person you're interviewing or are you trying to look down on them when you're interviewing? Like, uh, so sort of, I don't know. What, what are you above them, like Parkinson, or are you an equal like Ellen DeGeneres? I'm not sure. Phil, we spoke about Dom Tyson's show, but we really know that ours is a level above when we've got players like this yeah. on our we show. The big timers. We get the big timers on this show. Jeremy, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me. You obviously requested to be on today's uh, segment, being we're talking all things Valentine's. Uh, it was it was during the week. Did you have a Valentine? Um, no, I didn't really. No, um, it was Thursday. Kind of forgot about it until um, I saw the uh, Facebook statuses come, start popping up. He's come a long way. He's a Polish. Obviously, last year he took your spot for a little bit. Yep. Um, that one show and did a good job. He's got the bug. He's got the bug and good luck to him. I look at you, you've got my badge, might because I put it there, not sure. But you've got an I love Johnny Patton there. Was he your Valentine? Look, I'm not gonna deny it. He probably was. Yeah. Didn't have a didn't have a date. Or a he or you didn't have a date. Uh, a bit of both. A bit of both, so. Um, yeah, so we, you know, we just had a really nice dinner and uh, went and had a Rose petals? Yeah. Candles. And a, and a movie, a romantic comedy. Entree? Can't, rem can't really remember. Oh. I think it was just the main meal. Takeaway from Baywalk. Got that sort of five o'clock to 12 o'clock period where you can uh, we can do something with a lovely girl at night. Yeah. What, what would be your favorite thing? You would take it to Dartmoor or do something on the Harbour Bridge? What is it? Um, I'm not sure, like, there's a few different things um, you could do, Stevie, but I reckon you'd have to, you know, just make the bed nice and like just dress it up throw a few rose petals on it, light a few candles, exactly like Shawnee Edwards does every single year. Um, what's the best feature of Lockie Whitfield as a Valentine? Uh, probably his gorgeous blue eyes, I'd say. A man of your culinary skills, what would you cook for your Valentine? It, would it be a three course meal, one course meal, takeaway, what would you do? Um, I'd try to cook something first. Yeah, nice. um, if it didn't, didn't turn out, I'd definitely get takeaway though. What would you try to cook? A T-bone. Medium, medium rare? Medium rare, yeah, for Valentine's Day. Would you throw in salad or don't, don't, don't hurt the plate with greenery? Yeah, I've recently discovered them salads where you buy them and they're pretty much made up straight out of the shop, so um, you just throw a bit of that on the side. And just make it look a bit messy so it looks like you've done it yourself? Yep, and add a bit of uh, potato. Footballers get a bad rap for being romantics, but we've got Kelsey Tompkins here with uh, young Griffin, Adam Trelaw's girlfriend. Um, Adam is one of the sweethearts of the club. How did he go last Thursday on Valentine's Day? Um, he woke up, made me look after the dog so he could run to the shops and bought me a GHD and some roses. <laughs> GHD? GHD, that's clever. Stephen, obviously we're a, uh, close to a Z-grade celebrities when it comes to uh, the media, but not often you get joined by A-graders. 
Um, Melissa Doyle has joined us. Melissa, very, uh, very nice to have you. Oh, uh, so nice to be here with you, boys. Obviously, it's very similar to Sunrise here. Um, we've got a great audience here. Um, we've got, you know, one child there, two people over there. So it's obviously a tough crowd to perform in front of. Yeah, look, I'm used to people holding up signs and waving and getting on their phones and going, hi, mom. So it feels, I feel really comfortable. Yeah, nah. You can't always talk about the success stories, can you? Um, obviously, some, there was some sadness during the week for one of our boys, um, one of the sweethearts of the club, would you call him? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, still looking a bit flat the big fella, but obviously his, his, his lovely Valentine was out of the country. So let's go and see what happened on his Valentine's Day. Adam Thompson, number 20. Adam Thompson, I see 20 for Twitter, just down there. Um, welcome to the show, mate. Yeah, thanks for having me, boys. Pretty excited. Yeah, the, it's talking quick, just as always. Uh, are you a uh, roses or chocolate lady or both? Um, Both. Yeah, I don't think I could narrow it down. Oh, it's a big day, you know. I'm all about the uh, the love around the, the club and the relationship, so I'm a very big fan, unlike some others who I live with. Yep, Valentine's Day is a great day. I obviously recently celebrated a birthday. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 30. Ha ha happy birthday, exclusive from G1 and G3. Thank you very much, thank you. 32. That's close enough. Close enough, good enough. Can you cut your husband a little bit of slack? Hence, it was your birthday just recently. That maybe Valentine's Day wasn't as special. For Look, you. that's his theory because I got flowers for my birthday, so he said they tied Divide me over. By two. Divide by two. Yeah, but I think I'll just call Valentine's Day in in a month or so. So when all the flowers start to die from the birthday, I'll just point that that's out. And Adam, obviously, you sent. You said your your day was was well spent. Yes. Obviously, it's very hard to send flowers and cards to the beautiful beaches of Chuang Beach and Koh Samui or anywhere in Thailand for that matter. Was there a Skype session or a, a really nice little poem on Facebook or what ended up being the go? Direct message on Twitter. <laughs> Look, there wasn't. The uh, direct message I got on Twitter was actually, uh, was actually from Adam Kennedy. So, uh, no, I gave Cass the, uh, the day off there and uh, spent it with Kenneth. So. Uh, Liam Sumner, the beautiful, yeah, the beautiful yeah. girlfriend Paige. Yeah. She's, um, yeah, it, she would have been a great Valentine for him. Uh, Midweek saw a tweet from her. Just saying, what a what a wonderful boyfriend I have. The presents, plural. There was there was, plural. there was a photo with I definitely saw chocolates, definitely saw red roses, and I uh, saw a huge like a big uh, flowers everywhere, yeah. everywhere. I reckon, I would have thought probably in the range of five hundred dollars spent on a, a bouquet of flowers. Let's ask Liam. And, oh, actually, and I saw a Tiffany and Co box in the background as well. Yeah. Did you see that? I think I saw that as well. So. Let's let's ask Liam He's if he got her anything. Let's ask her if he got her anything. What did the wonderful Paige get from her beautiful boyfriend, Liam, this week? Uh, she got just a bit of a phone call in the afternoon, you know, just saying a happy Valentine's Day. That's probably about it. Melissa Lambert on uh, G1, G3. Who would you want out of all the uh, GWS boys to take out your daughter Briley on a Valentine's Day night? Well, I think they're all lovely boys, and I would be happy with any of them, but I think if I had to pick one, it would be Adam Kennedy for sure. Adam Kennedy. Now, why would it be Adam Kennedy? Because he's just a lovely boy. He's always happy, he's always smiling, he looks like a caring, kind, and he'll treat my daughter well. Rose Petals or Michael Bublé? Rose Petals. Michael Bublé or Candles? <laughs> well, I'd have to say the Candles. Well, it depends what time of the day it was. Michael Bublé or Michael Bublé? Uh, I'd have to say all. Which Giants listed player do you think would most likely go on a date with Briley and at the end of the night get the bill and say, oh, should we just go half and half? Oh, I might get into trouble by saying this, and I do love you, Thomas Bug. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's a, uh, that's a wrap. Is that it? That's it for the Valentine's uh, edition. Another... Another year until the next one, so it's a little bit depressing for you. It is, obviously, it's a day that I really pride myself on. Um, you know, my girlfriend Coco obviously know that I, I take a huge pride in and she gets spoiled every year with great gifts. Um, so yeah, it's sad for me, but I'll keep on moving forward, mate. I'll keep on moving forward. And hopefully next year you get a date. What are your chances of you getting a date? My date's there, mate. Big Johnny Patton. Big Johnny. But uh, you know, the, the great thing about love is, um, Stephen, it can go away like that. Uh, you and Johnny might be on the rocks next year, so hopefully we can get you a sustainable date for years to come. Perfect. Keep your tweets coming through uh, about ideas for the show and questions. But uh, Phil, thanks very much for, for being here and hopefully I'll get this pretty little face next year. Yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe we'll uh, go out on a nice romantic date on the water. Perfect. I hate that photo so much.